Costume swap. We got our Billy Hatcher hat on now. Let's go. Okay. If you don't know Billy Hatcher, don't worry. I'll give you the rundown. And this time, I'm not rusty at the game. I may be not at my peak because I haven't played as much lately, but this is a game I still currently speed run. I still currently do world record attempts in. Um, I My current PB was record at some point. Now it's third place because I haven't been playing as much. But I have like a legitimate shot at PBing this run or something. But either way, this one, this one's not gonna be like the last ones where I have seven years of rust. We're gonna do a good run for you, okay? <clears throat> so let's do it. Um, you know what? Let's just do the run, and I won't even know what pace I'm on. <laughs> we'll just see it when I finish. I will start at 4:54 on the timer, and then we can use that to. See what time I finish with. Almost there. All right, here we go. Whoops. Here we go. The best speed game. The best game that you have probably never heard of. Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg. Made by Sonic Team for the GameCube in 2003. This game is about a boy in chicken suit who pushes eggs around. The eggs roll over fruit and then they grow. When they're max size, you can say cock a doodle doo and hatch them and there's various things inside. But that's not what makes the game great. What makes the game great is that it just has just has nice levels that also are structured in a way that you can do a lot of skips and cool jumps and the mechanics are just great for running around point to point bouncing all over the place clearing gaps and there's also a bunch of tech you can do with all the eggs so buckle your seat belts because Things are about to get real. Let's go. So, we start out as normal Billy. Just an everyday kid right now. But just you wait. Once we arrive at the first egg, we will no longer be your average boy. We will be the Billy Hatcher wearing the legendary chicken suit. Basically, the crows are the bad guys. We gotta stop them. We gotta bring morning back to morning land. First. Now we've got an egg. Now you can see how we move in the game. We dash and go yaw a whole bunch. We can do things like bounce off a sign to get a bunch of height and skip a gate. We can do things like throw a bigger egg into a smaller egg to damage ourselves through walls. We can do things like bounce out of the ring and air dash to skip part of the level. We can do things like build this egg up to max size so that this cat dies in one hit. We got good luck with cherry drops from the cat, so that's great. We gotta hatch this golden egg. Mm. 
Cock-a-doodle-doo. Come on out. <laughs> Good start. So. <laughs> there's one level in each world where it's dark. And that's because the chicken elder who says cock a doodle do and makes the sun come up is trapped inside a gold egg. So you gotta hatch him. Set him free. That's a good idea, Kai. There's also a level in each world where we have to beat a boss, which is going to be the next one. sign we bounced off in the last level, we're gonna do something similar. But yeah, just look. You can just do these huge jumps and like, go wherever you want. Bye. Go up. Nice. We made it up. And we need max egg. That will let us get up onto this ledge. Go. Alright. A little slow. But we made it to the portal. Thanks, Tool. Alright. So this is Era Gecko. He's a regular old gecko in every way other than the little crow wings. Those give away that he's a crow baddie. Everything else he does is just what you would expect from a gecko. Like, um, his saliva makes water or a grass grow. He can shrink in size to suit his mood. Uh, does big old tail whips and can shoot lasers from his mouth. So all your typical gecko stuff. There's the lasers. them out. Uh, the fruit that makes your egg grow, like when the egg's bigger, it does more damage. And on that fight, you pretty much just make it grow whenever you can. But there's some fights where you want like really specific egg sizes at different parts of the fight. Nice fruit shop. That was my one year anniversary. Uh, to be honest, the heart rate monitor is just like kind of annoying to set up, so I don't do it most of the time. But if I'm on like a, a day where I'm really seriously going for like 2D Mario record, then I'll usually put it on. See, it's nighttime again. So we gotta hatch the gold egg. Perfect trick to get off the egg faster. 
let's go. Saying cuckoo doo doo under 40 seconds is good. Especially without good RNG. Which is, uh, yeah, so there's lots of different fruits to drop. I think seven different types. And each different type of egg likes different fruits. So it'll make them grow faster. The gold eggs like pineapples and cherries. Keep splitting there. So yeah, on these missions with the gold egg, you really want to see pineapples and cherries drop from enemies. Most of the time it doesn't make a huge difference. In the end, RNG in this game only only makes the difference. Like from best to worst RNG, it's like 20 to maybe 30 seconds. But on average, it's like 10. Okay, in insane cannon shots in this level, and the cannon, you can just like ricochet off walls, so we're gonna do that now. Please make it, oh, I was one pixel low. If I was one pixel higher, it was fine, but I thought it would work. Oh, that's too high. Bro, just chill, just, I hate when I do this. Just take two seconds longer to set it up so you don't die twice instead. That might be too high as well. Oh my gosh. Just... <laughs> just do... <laughs> just shoot it when you know it's gonna work, dude. Alright, well we lost it. Hot! 35. It's not rest, but cannon's just always hard to aim. You probably wouldn't know until you try. It's like trying to aim in a first person shooter, but you only have the keyboard. I can still get a PB. I'll try and play my best on the rest of it. It'd be pretty hype to just have a sick PB and then 30 seconds all in one level. But it wouldn't even be the first time. Yeah, and the thing is, even after the dead zone, it's not like there's... Is there? I don't even know if there's multiple speeds of the cannon. I think it just goes like full power all the time, but I don't know. Failing it like three times or whatever I did is not okay though. Okay, there's a beautiful, beautiful trick in this level. It's called Clippin' Yeet. That guy I talked to back there, that's Clippin'. The rest is for you to figure out. This is a race, kind of like Koopa the Quick in Mario 64, but... Um, no matter how fast you go, he'll always take the same amount of time to finish. 
However, there's a couple things you can do to speed him up, which are not intended. You can activate his superpowers. Oh no! <laughs> The, did, uh, I, I just didn't even walk far enough forwards to make the bridge load. I don't know. That sucks. I just lost so much time. I didn't even get to show it. I'm so sad. That hurts a lot more after losing 30 on the last level. Thanks, Kyle. Still PB. Amazingly enough. Look how he jumped across the bridge. You're right. <laughs> Even though it's literally slower. This is our friend Broly. The nice crow is just strapped her to a bomb. We moved it a couple inches to the side, and now she's good. <laughs> hey Lytle, thanks for the two gift subs. It was really nice. We're almost there. We're almost there. We're at 493. It hasn't updated. Okay, now that we got Roly, uh, we can play one mission as her in each world, and the Roly mission in world one is really hard, so we're going back there to get it out of the way. Let's go. Check out these hot wall clips. Nice. Basically, anytime you're holding an egg, and you jump against a wall, if you take damage, you'll go through it. So we take advantage of that anytime we can. It's really hard off certain enemies. Dang, pro killer! Thank you so much, dude. We did it. We made it. It's happening. Thank you. Okay, one more clip off this beat. Nice. Nice. Saved a bunch there. Thank you so much, Pro Killer. We've done it. The mad lads. Excellent. Are you doing fine on the humor side? Okay, so do a similar clip to the one I did in 1-1 or that first level Big egg hits small egg take damage There's uh, animal buddies in this game, which come out of some of the eggs, if you hatch them. And you're supposed to get one to break the wall there. Wow, that was really fast. Yeah, I, maybe I could have done a dunk and killed all of them. My gold. Well, I don't have my splits, so... Whoops. Never mind. <clears throat> Good 
My PB did not do well on that level, so the last two levels we just made up a bunch of time on PB. <clears throat> as bad as that pirate was, like, this might sound insane, but I could be ahead of my PB after Dino. I think. But we'll never know. I don't know what pace I'm on. Maybe in 2010? Well, that's good, because it was made in 2003. Welcome to the GameCube. Most gorgeous console ever. What am I... What did my brain think there? I feel like I have to watch that back to even understand what I was thinking. I think I saw... I think my decision was, like, based on the farther back anchor or something. Like, I went based on it. I don't know. That was weird. Dang. Asian Steve, thanks for the sub! GameCube's just gorgeous, guys. 16 to Dino 2. No. Do you know what your Dino 2 split is, Kai? Maybe we could compare after this level and see how much of a chance I have. Uh, could be Kai. I really doubt it, but it's possible. Good RNG, but really good gameplay. I'll do something that will make other people nervous. <clears throat> yeah, this game has a multiplayer battle mode. Guys, you gotta try playing this game. You don't even get to see uh, a lot of the good stuff in any percent. Oh, oh, don't, don't grab that. Okay, I'm far enough. Okay. Um, there's so many eggs and so many levels and places in the levels that you just don't see in the speed run. Might join in your tourney. Oh yeah. Ne like, beginning of next year, after I get less busy, or, yeah. I want to do a versus mode tournament for this game. Can you play it? You can purchase it on eBay. I started it at, uh, okay, sign bounce. We're going flying. If you bounce next to a sign, it like shoves you out at high speed and you can just go flying across the map. No, the, <laughs> what the heck was that? 
probably didn't make any sense for non-runners of the game. <laughs> Good cycle. And we jump down in the lava. Just kidding, a rock spawns just in time. And there's this huge lava waterfall hitbox right there you have to avoid. All right, it's not the fastest, but not terrible. Um, On the timer, I started at 4.54 flat, I believe. That can't be right, because you're saying 2045. <laughs> you ran so far. It's like worst RNG. Maybe you mean 20 for the last level. This boss, uh, like a lot of bosses have damage caps, so it's like, that's all the damage I can do, and then I just have to wait for the next one. This is the longest and least interesting boss. The one, the, pretty much all the ones after this are really good bosses. Okay, let's see, where's the spot? It's right here. Okay, do you want to be on the left half or the right half of that thing? Oh, this is good positioning. It's like perfect. I jumped just for Kai to try and land on the emblem. Noah, thanks so much for the rain bear cheer. A thousand bits. Thanks so much, dude. Did I get it? So close. Hello, Shrek. Good morning. Left of the line going through it. Forty-five. Okay. And your PB is forty-three ahead of me. I think. Basically. <laughs> doesn't help, but at least the egg didn't pop. Yeah. 
basically would be record face if I didn't die on pirate. I got like 59 portal, which is like plus 35 on 24. Do you know how much they take? Hot 40 lost on it ish, I guess. Also the text box. Oh, plus I died on anchors. I forgot about that. Which that was 15. Basically I lost over a minute in pirate. But you can still PB after losing a minute. It's fine. I can, at least. Okay. So this level, there's a blizzard machine that we have to break with this guy's fire powers. So, we get our first animal buddy. This is Cypher. The Sky Dragon. Just kidding. Now we need to get into the center room, which you're supposed to hit a switch, but we're like, nah, that's slow. So we go in the back door. Yeah, this game has good music. It gets even better, in my opinion. Yes, that is PK Fire. And, uh, oh, I said first animal, buddy. I didn't point out Richie. What am I smoking? Richie does PK Freeze. Later we'll get PK Thunder. All right, this is Moles. He has no damage cap, so if we can build up a big egg, we can go to town doing damage on him. You don't want to do too much the first phase. You want to do exactly how much I did. And then... Oh. There's three ice balls and I got none of them. Three month sub to me is not nearly as much as a pro controller, but if it's the difference between you getting that or not, I think you should get it. out of order, I guess. <laughs> it's fine. Could have been worse. Could have been a level I wasn't supposed to enter.
Everybody knows you gotta get Snowman out of the way. Holy cow. <laughs> That's terrifying. Sounds good, guy. Correct. Ultra exists. We hit it. I'll play it. RNG on this level would really help my pace. Thanks, code block. Thanks, dude. Dude, I really appreciate that. Yeah. Sorry if uh, I stopped explaining things as well. I just, like started really focusing. I think it'd be cool to PB here, but it's gonna take really good gameplay. It depends a lot on this level and then the next two. Weird things were happening. Get up! Oh my gosh, how? Twice in a row, I barely, barely clutched out the egg bounce. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, so yeah. <laughs> That's like the hardest level and there's huge out of bounds skips and it's kind of insane. I don't know how I got both of those. What's up Tecate?
So this boss, I made sure to grab the melon first. Um, because these fruit just take like a set amount of time to respawn. And uh, so now the melon will respawn first, and that's close to where I want to do the final hits on him. So I can grab the melon and then quickly kill him. So we break this mirror so that he pops out of it. Hit him. Break this mirror so he tries to go in it, but he fails. Grab the melon, full-size egg. Take him out. Thanks for the gifts of Mecha Tails. Paying forward, let's go. What I would like, I'd love to know, I guess I just shouldn't get ahead of myself, but after I beat Blizzard 4, I'd love to know how I compare to my PB splits. If I'm anything like plus 25 or less, I could do it for sure. Just did enough. I don't want to lose all hope on that. Alpharad made a video about this game, but he's not a speedrunner, I guess. I wonder how many people played it because of him. I got the jump. Nice. Uh, button mashing, I just like hold my finger over the button and like vibrate the arm, you know. What section? Um... Blizzard 4. Which I don't need to know for like several levels because yeah. Okay, this is one of the hardest levels. Uh, first, I have to do this huge bounce over the huge sand pit that's tough, and it's off of an object that can do damage to me. And then I have to clip over a pit of quicksand off a really finicky enemy. What? Okay, well, forget PB. <laughs> what the heck was that? That's what was supposed to happen. <laughs> Alright, I'm just getting over to the spot to do this clip is hard.
Okay, well now I can focus less and explain more. <laughs> I keep going barely too late. If you do this right, Billy goes big flying. So I can do the faster strikes, huh? I went so much earlier because I keep going late. Now I would love to have the big egg, now that I don't care about <laughs> squeezing out all the time I can. Oh my gosh, come on. There we go. All the way to the statue. And then we have to bait this bee. Dash over here, jump down, clip off of him. Oh, I... Ooh, I like barely wasn't close enough to the wall, I guess. Actual pixels. PDR up onto the wall. That is an idea. Just do the old strat, which is pretty easy. I just have been good enough with the ESB that I go for it a lot of the time now. Okay, hit the clip. There we go. And the boss portal. <laughs> You're supposed to like go down a trap door through this series of rooms and do all this stuff. But if you clip at that exact spot, you barely fall down and land in the boss room. <laughs> uh, it's not like perspective perspective issues. That's not why 3D games are harder. They're harder because you have a million angles you can hold instead of just holding right or left. So this boss This boss, you have to hit him with a specific size of egg on every phase. And uh, then you can skip a few of his attacks at the end. It saves a bunch of time. So I'm actually going to delay before I hit him right here. And that should be enough for this to spawn. Hit him, and yeah, we should be set up for the good fight now. Taunt the walrus up on the rail. What's up? We have to do one damage with the small egg here, and then grab the big one. And he's dead. Good fight. <clears throat> yeah, neither one is like... The thing with speedruns is that people will make them as hard as they possibly can. So a 2D run might be 
easier to optimize, but then you're not going to be allowed to make as many mistakes. Same with like a hard run versus a short run. It's like, okay, a short run, there's less you have to do, so less opportunity for mistakes, but you're not allowed to make any because people optimized it more. So, I don't know. Objectively, like 3D speedruns and longer speedruns are harder. But if you're just talking about like competing in them, then I don't think any game is really like easier or harder because, well, that's not true, but. Basically top level in any game, people will just make it as hard as they possibly can. Oh, look at this board. So much blue. Shame I missed that. that. That was not a good time for how good of a board that was. I missed so many fruit there. Alright, we had PK Freeze and PK Fire. Now it's time for PK Thunder. This is Reki. A lot of times we like to say World Reki, but not this time because we made too many mistakes. I missed it? What? Wait, why am I even going this way? Go the other way. Weird spot to get text. Yeah. Alright, see ya. Peace and out. Oh gosh. Get in the blue poop. Oh. I wonder if I still could have made it actually. It's not that big of a deal, but. <laughs> I was holding the wrong direction after the cutscene. I might have still been able to make it. I should have tried. Should have tried for the knowledge. These people may think this is. Oh. Um. Yeah, my other ones were pretty sloppy. This one, this one's had some mistakes, but not as bad. This is the the time I'm gonna get is still gonna be like seventh or eighth on the leaderboard. I want to say, so it's still like decent, especially for no reset. Oh, I forgot I spent forever on Sam 2. I don't know. I don't know what time I'll get, but it won't be that bad. That's fast. That is how you do it. It's so hard to grab that emblem. Yeah, getting that quick cycle moles is like, Let's go. you have to get the insane luck and super fast, otherwise you just don't even have time to do the damage. Yeah. 
See ya. Oh, my turn. <laughs> it almost went back in. Oh, so the courage emblems you get at the end of each level, you need 25 to complete the second to last level. You need 25 to like unlock a door. Well, sort of. <clears throat> to finish the second to last level, you need 25. Then you get one from that level and one from the final. So you get 27. Bantam is in trouble. This time, we gotta save him. Alright, we moved the bomb a few feet. Now he's safe. You like that hot 29, Kai? Yeah, it's just one of those good speed games, Beluga, where it's just, a lot of things just work out perfectly. This game has the same engine as Sonic Adventure 2, and I know in that game there's a lot of ways to like convert speed into like vertical momentum, and the same goes with this game. So that's like one similarity you can see between them. Okay. I didn't die in Dino 2 this time, so maybe I won't soft lock. Oh, Rolling is Canadian, by the way, if you couldn't tell. That was like frame one talk. That's flag pug glitch. We, we got it. Look at good old Rabbish. We got the flag pug glitch. for a trick that was not a thing when I got my PB. Let's go. Dude, good old Crush 40. Imagine if Crush 40 was in this game. <laughs> I'm not sure it would have the same vibe though. Alright, box clip. Oh, I missed the jump. You have to hit left and jump at the same time. There we go. We land in this little room. And we take this hoop all the way up. You're supposed to take a very different route to get to the end of this level. The old speedrun route used to be very different. But we always knew... Oh gosh. If you could get into that little cave, you could get up there faster. Because... Basically, you get up top, and you're supposed to jump down that hole, and then you, you collect like a secret uh, collectible down there, a coin and then you get taken back up. But if you get in that cave early, then you can just t go to the top. Let's 
Um, no. It's just like the same engine. It doesn't mean the gameplay is really similar. It's not like uh, Ocarina of Time to Majora's Mask kind of a thing. Or like SMB1 to 2J. The engine, the engine just means like... They, like, made the games with similar tools, but they can play totally differently. They started making OOT with that engine, but they they made a whole new one basically out of it. <clears throat> okay, two more levels. This second to last level is um, one of the coolest. I think it's really satisfying. <coughs> okay, so you can see there's a switch right here. We say no to that switch. We decide we're just going to clip through the ground instead and navigate it blindly until the camera catches up. So that's good. Now we have to kill some bees, which are really dumb enemies. There's a faster strat, but I messed it up. Now we gotta quickly get the pineapples. Wow, nice. Nice fruit. That was like perfect timing as well. Now I need to switch to this smaller egg because I'm about to try and land on a platform that is so small the other egg like doesn't fit on it. <laughs> there it is. But it's not over yet. I gotta make this final jump. Wow, that was not... That was a bit abnormal of an angle I jumped at, but overall, nice level. And finally, we just kind of walk through the wall. <laughs> I don't know what the egg was doing. There you go. Uh, for some reason, there's like a couple doors in this game where if you walk at the side of them, you can just walk right through them. Sub 120 Sand 3 is super good. good morning. I'm not sure what my gold split is. But that's pretty dang close. The egg at the end was behaving so weird. Okay, so we unlock Giant Palace, which is where the giant egg is, which is what the name the game is named after. And don't go anywhere yet. There's still lots more cool tricks in this level. And it has, in my opinion, the best music in the Any% percent run. What? Hello? Alright, you're my final hope, last cat. Thank you. <laughs> Come on. We gotta kill these dinos to get them out of the way. What's going on? My controller 
What is happening? <laughs> what? What the heck? Uh... Okay, so normally you want bigger eggs for this, but we're just gonna have to work with what we got. Maybe I put it like here? Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah, so. <laughs> The controller, I have never seen this before. It just, it was just vibrating and like broken. It just wouldn't do things. I... I don't know, but we got palace skip. <laughs> I barely grabbed that fruit before it disappeared. Um, the reason I'm so weirded out by what just happened is because Something similar has been happening to me in Fall Guys, a completely separate game with a completely different controller. I'm like spooked, like legitimately spooked by that because every now and then my controller just disconnects or something in the middle of Fall Guys and it vibrates. And now I'm just playing Billy Hatcher and my controller like stops responding and just vibrates. Like what the heck is that? It's so weird. <laughs> Creepy pasta material. Okay, guys. Very important. Most important part of the entire stream. Billy Hatcher for Smash. Wait, what? I didn't clear the other puddle? <laughs> what? <laughs> Since when? I thought I did. <laughs> okay, try again. You, you didn't see anything yet. I mean, you did. Dang it. I guess... What did I miss? Hello? What is happening? I know you want to start on the opposite side, but I thought you could, in the nick of time... Just... Just close your eyes. Okay. If they would stop spawning inside each other. I just want to show off Billy for Smash. I didn't want to miss the opportunity, which I would have. So maybe... Maybe it'll come back in time I can do it again. There you go. Billy for Smash. Woo, yeah. First one was better though. That's how it's supposed to go. <laughs> Thanks for the raid, Ted. Sunglasses, let's go. Oh, hit him. I'm like... My brain is in so many different places than the game right now. Oh, what the heck? The capture's been cut off the entire... Run? Has it been like that the whole time? Nobody said anything. It's crazy. What did I... I did. Oh boy. Let's just pretend this fight never happened, okay? I don't know what is going on. Video capture's fine? No, but the edges are cut off. Why? No, not the input, the game. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna die. That's what I'm doing. Dying. Gotta beat this guy. If I died him, that is shameful. Okay. 
Okay, die. I didn't know and say anything. Actually would have cropped better the entire run. I didn't know. Whatever. Good one, Kai. Okay, we lost our courage, but now it's back, and we can take on the dude. <laughs> Sorry, I got. I have gotten really distracted by a lot of happenings in the past bit. So I haven't uh, kept up with the commentary as much. What am I doing? <laughs> you can do it, Brain. Five more minutes of this. You can do it. Not done a single phase right on either of these bosses. <laughs> there we go, to the middle. That's not the middle. Okay, we have done it, friends. We have done it. That's it. That's Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg, in addition to Super Metroid 90%, in addition to Donkey Kong 64 2013 version 90%, in addition to OOT Bingo. Let's go. <laughs> I tried really hard to like <laughs> be the most informative and entertaining I could and I ran out of brain energy towards the end but yeah <laughs> hope you enjoyed all the tricks and stuff I was able to pull off in all the games they're all really good speed games that you may not have seen runs of before One of your favorite games it's okay mr filth if you follow and come back i will do more runs of this soon enough uh i want to beat my pb by i don't know like two minutes or something so there will be lots of grinding this in the near future when i get time <laughs>